Hey, my name is Forrest Knight and welcome to my desk tour. I'm just going to show you the setup I use to, right now I'm learning iOS development and my plans in the future for when I become an iOS developer, my setup then. But I use this, I have, I have two computers here as you can see. I have a PC that I built and I have a Mac. I need the Mac for anything iOS, uh, you know, so I can use Xcode and whatnot and for on the go, it's a laptop. My desktop I use for video editing, for gaming. One, you know, one day I want to pretty much merge this together so I only need one. Not literally, just like get something, a MacBook Pro that's power enough to handle both. Well, let's talk about what I have for right now. As you can see, I have my MacBook Pro that I use, you know, I use Xcode on it and I use it for anything I need travel-wise since the laptop and any, any convenient type things because this thing doesn't compare to my PC that's right behind it because my PC, my PC is just so much more powerful and, and faster. My PC is inside of an NZXT tower with a Z97 MSI motherboard and an i5 3500 something K processor and I made sure I got the K so I could overclock it. I believe it's uh, originally 3.5 gigahertz. Right now it's running at 4.2. I've ran it at 4.2 ever since I got it without a problem. I have an MSI 970 graphics card. I have, I believe, eight gigabytes of RAM between two sticks, so four gigabytes each stick. And I have two extra slots in case I needed more, but I haven't seen a problem with just having these eight gigabytes. I have a 250 gigabyte Samsung solid state drive along with a one terabyte Western Digital hard disk drive. And all of this is powered with a 750 watt EVGA power supply unit. On top, in order to connect to the internet, I have a Netgear wireless adapter. In order to upload my files from my camera's SD card onto my PC, I have this card reader. And this will take just about any card you throw at it. I have a four terabyte Seagate backup plus hard drive. And this is a very good external hard drive for traveling. It's very durable. I use it for Windows and my Mac. I partitioned it so it has one terabyte on my PC and three terabytes on my Mac because I figured an external hard drive will have to come with me just like my Mac, but if I'm here and I run out of run out of that one terabyte on the external hard drive on my PC, then I will just get another one terabyte hard disk drive or something like that. My display is a 27 inch Asus monitor. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but anything I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description box below in case you want to check it out. But moving on, I have two Dell speakers that I got for free from a former employer. And they're not good at all. Sometimes I'll just use the monitor speakers because the actual speakers will have a high-pitched ringing noise and it's really annoying. I may not be using them for much longer. We'll see. And for my keyboard and mouse, I'm just using the CM Storm Devastator. I got red in order to match my tower. And for roughly $25, at least that's how much it was at the time I purchased it, for both the keyboard and the mouse, that's a pretty good deal in my books. And that's really why I got it. I wanted something with a backlight, a red backlight for that matter. And this is this was the key for me. So this is my current setup. I got my MacBook back in mid-2012 and I built my PC probably two years after that. So I didn't buy all this at once, you know, by any means. If I were to go back and do it again, or if I were to do it right now with, you know, if I figured I just was going to be sitting at this desk for the next few years at least, I would get two of these monitors instead of building that and I would get a better MacBook Pro. I'd get the top of the line MacBook Pro if I could do all this again. I'd probably end up getting wireless keyboard, wireless uh, mouse, just because I kind of like to look better, probably something to match the MacBook Pro, and I get a raindrop stand for the MacBook Pro. But I'm not going to be sitting at a desk like this for the next however many years. And then within the next two years, me and my girlfriend plan on building a tiny house and taking off, you know, traveling around the United States with it. So I'll need something a little bit more portable, although I'll be, you know, within my own house. I, if you don't know what a tiny house is, I'll show you. And with that, I want something a little bit more portable, but I'm going to make a whole nother video. If, if this video is out, then that one's probably out as well. So go see the video I uploaded right after this one on my channel. And don't forget, if you like this video, be sure to like it. Subscribe if you want to follow me on my iOS development journey. And just a reminder, anything in this video are in the, is in the description box below. And that should finish up this video. Until next time, have a good one.